summon the God of Thunder himself, Chris Hemsworth. Thank you very much. How's it going? How's your... Okay, that's enough. I have questions. <laughs> How has your has your day at Ace been? Your weekend at Ace been? Fantastic. Yeah, so busy. And uh, thanks to you guys, it's just been incredible. The response and the turnout has has been bigger than any con I've been to. So, yeah, thank you all very much for coming. It's fantastic. Now, of course, everybody knows you as Thor from the MCU, but you've done a lot more work than that. And I, real quick, I just want to, you know, ask you, what is the one role that you feel really defines you? <laughs> what is the one role that you feel defines you and why? Um, outside of Thor, mm -hmm. you mean? I don't know. It's kind of uh, Do you remember anything consumed the last 10, 11 years of my life. It's, uh, I think one, one of the big turning points for me, um, I did Thor 1, and that was uh, obviously huge for me and changed the direction of my whole career. Um, I'd say yeah, prior to that was, was uh, Star Trek. Um, yeah, Daddy was, Kirk. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it was funny, I was, I was living in LA and um, I was running out of money and I was auditioning and, and, and not really working that much and uh, desperately needed a job and then I got a phone call um, from JJ Abrams saying, can you come into the, yeah, come into the office and, and read. And um, I literally read the, the script in front of him and he said, great, you start on Monday, see you then. And this was just Friday night. Um, and that really, then sort of things took off. I ended up doing Cabin in the Woods and, um, and, and then JJ, I think, spoke to Kenneth Branagh who directed the first Thor um, and helped me sort of get into that role and, and into that film, so. Well, like Thor 1 was pretty, pretty serious. You mentioned Kenneth. Yeah. Um, and I'm also thinking of Rush, which was a serious role. What, which do you enjoy more, heavily scripted serious material or like improv? Uh, I'm really enjoying improv the last few years. <laughs> um, well, you're good at it. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, and it all for me started when I did Ghostbusters. That, um, <laughs> it's, it's, thank you. Um, that was, I remember turning up, we shot that in Boston and, uh, and I'd been told that the, the script was coming and, and my character was going to be written up and so on. And I got the, given the script and there was nothing really in the script. And I went and sat with Paul Feig, the director, and I said, I don't know what I'm doing with this character because there's nothing in the script. And he said, oh, it's fine, it's fine. We'll figure it out Monday and we'll improvise. And um, that wasn't very comforting. I sort of <laughs> went back to my hotel room and, and I thought, what am I doing here? I, don't, I have no idea what I'm a part of. And... Um, and then Monday morning, um, I was with the, that incredible cast and, and director, and, and we just basically improvised everything. And, and they would, th off camera, Paul and the writers would throw dialogue and suggestions, and, uh, and, and, and we'd run takes for 45 minutes straight, and, and most of it was us just trying to keep it together. But um, there's something from that, a real sort of spontaneity came from it, and uh, it was a good reminder just to sort of to not try and have it so tightly bound and controlled and just have more fun with it and, 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 and let loose and, and, you know, take risks. And, and then that led into Ragnarok, which was, um, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I had, had Taika Waititi come in and basically, uh, <laughs> basically sort of, again, you know, we had, we had a base of the script, but every day was just about exploration and fun and, uh, who was harder to keep a straight face around, Taika or Leslie Jones? Uh, Leslie's incredible, but I'd, I'd say I have a tougher time with Taika. Yeah. Because he would just it's, spontaneously I start mean, dancing. I think Korg originally had, um, you know, the rock monster, Taika's character, had like one line in the script, and then every time he came on set, it was, he just kind of took over, and it, and it was uh, it, it, one of my favorite characters in the MCU. 
No, he is, and we can't wait to see him again. Hopefully, yeah. maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, hopefully. <laughs> now, did you, when you first did Thor 1, did you sit back and go, okay, I now have to read all the comics and all the things? And did you yeah. continue to do that? Or did you go, nope, this character is mine, I will make him do whatever I want? It's funny, um, I did, I read a big stack at the start that, that Kenneth Branagh had given me, and, uh, but once we started shooting, you know, the script was my Bible, I guess, for the character, and it was about, you know, making it my own. Um, but just recently, I, I read um, a, couple, a couple of comic books that were, I was going through my house and boxes of things that I had when I moved from Los Angeles back to Australia and started flicking through comics. And, and it really sort of surprised me how, how, how many different versions of the, of the character, you know, even through the comics, the way it evolved, but also what we'd done in the movies. And um, I think it's, that's a, the special thing about being able to play a character over and over is you get, to, you get to approach it from different angles, you know, and especially across 10 years, which is a very unique situation to be in. You as an actor evolve, you as a person change, and then that, you know, echoes into the performance as well, so. Yeah, and it's, I think they've affected each other, because I think going in, it was definitely Walt Simonson's comic, but yeah. now I'm looking at Jason Aaron's run, I'm like, this is Chris. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, you've definitely affected the, the MCU and the comics, I think. What was, what do you think is the most, what was the most fun on Endgame for you? Um, I mean, just playing that version of Thor was, was, <laughs> was, uh, it was a real joy because I, I felt like on Ragnarok we did something so drastically different and then Infinity War, you know, I came in thinking I was going to do Ragnarok and Anthony and Joe Russo said, no, 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 we've got something different again and we did and then I got to Endgame and thought, oh, what do we do now? We have to, we have to keep, you know, making these big changes and they had that idea for that character and, um, and, and we just kind of ran with it. And again, it evolved and it was, you know, a lot of improvisation. Um, but there were kind of no rules with what we could do there. And again, when you kind of, you know, remove the box that the character's in, uh, it, it keeps you surprised as the actor, but also an audience. I think it, it, what was fun was I didn't know what the hell was going on. And I think, you know, most people kind of <laughs> were along for that journey. So. But it, it worked out for you, I think, in the it end. What do you out. think? Yeah, it worked out? <laughs> now, Scarlett Johansson teased you about taking a really long time to get ready in the makeup trailer. What are you doing? What is taking so long? She's, she's, she's jealous. I'm so quick in there, you know? <laughs> well, hang on. Let me see. We, I mean, end game, right? Uh, yeah, I took a while in the pair of well, makeup chair. Yes. I had to glue a massive beard on, a wig, the suit, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I've heard her say that. That's... With it, uh, you guys can come and time that someday, and you, I'll, be, I'll be outside quicker than she will. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to ask, this is just going to sound like a, a tangent, and we know you're into fitness or something like that, obviously. Is there something that you're not, is there something that says that you're not supposed to drink tea? What do you have against tea, honey? What happened? <laughs> Who just, hurt you? I just, I just prefer, I just, <laughs> is it, I think Thor just prefers beer. Than tea, you know. Mead and so tea. I, I don't mind a tea occasionally, you know. Except Ooh. it's just water and leaves, and you. If just there's an option to have, you know, a big a big jug of of mead, I'll probably head for that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, yesterday, Tessa was up here, and she said you make quite a bit of noise at the gym when you're working out. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. And in fact, she came and worked out with you a few times, yeah. and kind of made made fun of you about this. I was um, actually trying to get her attention. She was like working out. I was like, rrr, rrr. over here, over here. <laughs> she said she's now teaching Natalie Portman your grunting technique oh, so that she, she can wield <laughs> the hammer. What is it in as Asgardian yell as you the Asgardian queen yeah, jerk? Yeah, it's just a lot of kind of <laughs> frustrated. So, rrr, 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 when's this gonna end? <laughs> and I uh, get me out of here. <laughs> now you've worked with some. I look forward to seeing Natalie Portman. Uh, yeah, noises, we all so. do. We all do. Also, apparently she's going to be Debo, so. Apparently she's going to be what? She's going to be all Diesel, because diesel, she's working out with. Oh, that's uh, right. She's going to be bigger than me. Yeah. She's huge. <laughs> I don't know if we want that, but yes. That'd be, I don't know if I want that. That'd be, 
be intimidating and probably not so good for my career. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, actually, of all, you've worked with a lot of amazing women, like, you know, Natalie and Tessa we mentioned, but also Kate Blanchett as your sister, Hella. Um, now, who is your favorite? <laughs> It's like saying choose between one of my children, you know? <laughs> Not saying that they're my children, but I have three kids, and if you said who was your favorite, I'd be in trouble. Uh, I mean, I've learned in huge amounts of things from all of them. Um, they've all put me in my place many times before, told me to shut up and, you know, get out of the way. Uh. <laughs> I want to see that movie with all of them and just you. <laughs> yeah. That was Ghostbusters. It was <laughs> Now, um, what's the, what was your favorite scene with Tessa? Whether or not it was in MCU or MIB, what was your, what was your favorite or funniest? Uh, I'd, say, I'd say Ragnarok because it was the first time we'd worked together. Um, the, one of the funniest scenes was in, was it in her apartment when Loki's tied up in the corner You've got Banner, me, Tessa, and, and it was just the most insane kind of day of improv and who's talking, who's saying what, who's, you know, what's going on. And, um, so I the mean, whole story about Loki, you were just... Oh, riffing. that was... I, All that whole story about Loki pretending to be a snake and me, I, I like snakes, I love snakes, and then, you know, and stab with... <laughs> I mean, that was... It, it, none of that I ever thought would um, make it into the film. Let... <laughs> Let alone be one of the best yeah, scenes. I mean, uh, yeah, and be one of the, and I remember Mark Ruffalo looking at me going, are we wrecking this movie? Are, are, are we destroying these characters? And, uh, and Tessa just looking at you like, what? And yeah, Tessa's like, what am I a part of? What am I doing? And we're all like, no, no, no. And we were shooting it in Australia, so it was a long way away from the Marvel executives, so we were kind of like, <laughs> they can't even stop us. And, uh, Two hundred million dollar film. Who cares, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> and Tyke is just dancing in the background. <laughs> his Tyke was dancing around, doing his thing. Yeah. <laughs> now you mentioned um, your family earlier, your children, um, and uh, they're obviously very important to you. Where your kids? They're still young, but do they get it? Do they understand how important their dad is? That he's a god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't. I don't. They don't think of me as a god. I don't think. I'd like them to, but. Uh, it's not working? S sadly, no. You're sad, not disciplining no. them with the yeah. hammer like, they're like, nope, no, we nah, don't care. They're like, nah, we know, because once they realized I couldn't actually fly, that was, um, that was a sad day. Oh, no. Me. I mean, but they, they came to set, and, and one of my kids in particular is, thinks it, or did think it was awesome, and uh, they came to set, and I, because every time I'd come home, they'd say, but they, they've seen the movie, and they'd be like, Dad, you know, do that thing with a hammer where you fly and summon the lightning. I'm like, Ugh, only at work, kids, only at work. <laughs> so then they come to work. <laughs> I see where this is going. And and uh, at first they're like, where's the Hulk? And I point to Mark Ruffalo. And he's in pajamas. And they're like, <laughs> that what? And then they're like, well, I'll fly, you know. I'm like, ah, oh, not today, you know. We sort of, it's not the right conditions. It's a bit windy in here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, where's the hammer? I'm like, over there. And they're like, make it do the thing with the lightning. And I'm like, not today. You know, it's a, it's, 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 it's a maintenance is, is happening on that. <laughs> so then they just realize it's all smoke and mirrors and you know, so on. But, and they're um, no longer impressed. Yeah, they think I'm much cooler when they watch the movie. And then they turn to me and they're like, eh, I'm going to look. So, so they're heavily gl glued to the screen. <laughs> yeah. your, um, your brothers, obviously, also act. Now, and we, yes, and Liam has been in several things, including Hunger Games, and Luke is on Westworld. Do you each watch each other's work and give each other helpful suggestions? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes His face like, does not look like those suggestions are helpful. Sometimes, like, Chris, what the hell were you doing with that one? <laughs> um, yeah, we do. We've always, uh, you know, I mean... It's funny, you spend so much time at work and talking about work and so on that when we catch up, we tend to catch up and, and talk about other things. But yeah, you certainly get feedback and it's the most honest feedback like anyone would know with, with a brother or a sister. You know, your family members, they're gonna tell you 
how it is. And um, did, did you warn them about Endgame, or did you not say anything? No, I didn't say much. I mean, I, I was nervous to speak about that to anybody. You know, because it, the Marvel snipers are real. Yeah, the, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I'd be talking to other cast members, and be like, "Sorry, can't tell you." And they're like, "I'm in the movie." You're like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> and, um, Except for Tom. D Downey, you know, you, yeah. you know what happens with you? No, <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did you? Were you one of the few cast members that got the whole script, or were you one that only got your own sides? Um, I mean, we kind of got we got a script or parts of the script, and it was a really old version of the script. And and um, yeah, I, you could go and sit in a room and read the script, but to be honest, it wasn't even completed. I, I, mm. And at, you know, the second half of that shooting the movie, it was like completely in their hands and 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 being guided by you know, what they had in store for you. And, and, yeah. and I think most of us watched the movie and were like, oh, my God, he, that happens to him and her. And right, her. right. And then, oh, everybody, okay. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> oh, this isn't a wedding either, like they told us. <laughs> it's a funeral. What? <laughs> that was sad. But. <laughs> Not for me, because I was alive, but... <laughs> Sorry, Robert, unemployed. See ya. <laughs> So Are we allowed to talk about this? I get nervous even now. Okay, no, no, we're, we'll pull it back. We'll Se do some fan. Yeah? We'll do some fan <laughs> casting, actually, with your brothers. Oh uh, yeah. So think of now. You you are the one of the longest running Avengers <laughs> in the MCU. Um, so if you had cast your brothers in any of the other uh, Avengers oh, or Marvel movies, really? what would you cast them as? Who would you cast them as? Cast my brothers. Um, and why? And why? Um, we I could make Luke the Incredible Hulk. Got some, it's got some big arms on him, you know, some muscles. Liam, we could, I could make, um, we could change him to Captain Australia, maybe. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, you don't like Australia or Liam? <laughs> uh, who could? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I love my brothers, but I love that cast too. So to replace them, um, I don't know, Hawkeye. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it? How to get an arrow and arrow on the side of the head, right? Jeremy yeah. Renner just got a violent Let's not headache. Let's play this game. This is why. horrible. No one wants to play this game. No. <laughs> now, do you have any interest in like writing or directing? Um, yeah, I, 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 I'd love to direct at some point. Um, it's just trying to find something that I could stick with for that long. You know, as an actor, you come into something for three, four months, and then you. You know, it's a very intense period. Then you turn it off and you go do something else. And uh, whereas the director, you know, you can be on a project for years, and and in, in, in a good, you know, scenario, it's it's a minimum sort of two year commitment, two and a half years. Um, so I'd have to be pretty invested in the subject, you know. And I have the tendency to kind of drift off and get distracted and lose interest in, in things. So. <laughs> You're like, wait, I'm distract. I'm I'm directing. Oh, I'm, I'm directing. directing. Oh, cool. What's this movie about? <laughs> Yeah. You can't can really. We, can we change it now? No, we're halfway through. Oh. We can't really improv direct. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the problem. No, I, I would love to though. I think um, just the more I do, the more interest I have in all the other elements of the assembling of a story and 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 the uh, you know working with actors and, and writing as well. But I don't know. I've just been too busy at the moment. And then when I'm not at work, I've got three little kids and. They're, uh, who are trying to direct them is pretty intense. <laughs> who are apparently climbing appliances? What is happening in this oh, house? Climbing what? Appliances. I saw your son oh, yeah, climbing yeah, the, the fridge. fridge. Yeah, yeah. What no. is happening? <laughs> yeah, they're insane, my kids. They're like villains from the Marvel Universe. They're, um, <laughs> well, see, now that they understand that daddy can't very, fly, they're no longer kid. impressed. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they're abusive to me. You know? it's, uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna, we're going to take some fan questions. Yeah, sure. Um, first, um, Invisible Circus asks, <laughs> this is funny, quick, scrolls have breached and are invading Earth. What do you grab first, Stormbreaker or Noisy Cricket? Uh, no, nah, uh, Stormbreaker, for sure. <laughs> it's not even a competition. I mean, I like Noisy Cricket. I wish we had one, in, I wish I had one in MIB. Um, <laughs> yeah, Stormbreaker. I like that weapon. The, um, actually, while we're on the subject, what was, this is from me, actually, what was your, the, the reaction that you had in Endgame when you read the script and realized that Captain was going to have Mew Mew? <laughs> uh, 
was just was pretty angry. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of people picking up that hammer, to be honest. I was playing with my toys, you know? I was like, give me that. Right, yeah, right, right. That your rolled acting, my eyes. Your <laughs> acting was amazing because it looked like you really didn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> I minded. And I, so I give it back, Cap. Have your little shield. And, uh, <laughs> um, I haven't seen him pick up Stormbreaker yet, though, right? No. 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 But he also, you know. Did he? He's did not he? See, I did this when that happened. I was like, no. It's conveniently eating some popcorn or something. It's okay, because now he's like really old and can't even pick he's up old, the shield. Yeah. So. He's old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kaz. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, next question. John 39263. What are you doing? Putting your zip code on here, man? John it's his phone number. <laughs> right. Give him a call. John 39263. Any chance Mr. Hemsworth might want to team up with Mr. Evans and RDJ in a non-MCU project? It's very formal, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, absolutely. I'd love to. Um, that was, you know, what was so sad about kind of finishing Endgame was just that were we ever all going to get to hang out again? And, and immediately we started thinking, what else could we do? And, and so I'd love to. Um, we could remake the Three Amigos or something. Well, you know, Robert's, Robert's in, in now... In production. Too, I think Robert might take issue because now he's doing, like, a movie with a bunch of animals. So. He is, isn't he? I just watched the trailer for that. It's fantastic, yeah. <laughs> it's, it was quite, it's quite nostalgic watching that trailer with Robert because the last time we all saw him on screen was, you know, and um, it's, it's quite sad. It's so too it's, soon. Watch the Dr. Doolittle trailer with, with Robert. It's, um, <laughs> it's quite special. Hopefully none of the animals hurt him. That's what? <laughs> Hopefully none of the animals hurt him. No. That would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kugali Media asks, seeing how different the MCU Thor is from the comics, I'd like to know how much of the original character Chris read, watched, read and watched and got into while preparing to pr uh, play the role for the first time. Was it Chris or the directors that first started changing his mannerisms? Mm. Um... No, it was, kind of, it was kind of me. I think, I remember uh, Taika, uh, the first time I spoke to him about Ragnarok, uh, um, when he had got the job officially, he said, right, let's talk about the character. I said, oh, good, let's go. And he goes, I'm a bit sick of him. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of me. You know, I'm sick of what I'm doing. And we both, you know, talked about how fantastic the sort of evolution had been in the character, but he just said, we both agreed that we had, we'd started to, we knew what we were going to get from, from the character. And um, so we both had a huge influence on that. And, but if you had have asked me before we started shooting, did I know that that was the character that was going to end up on screen? No, I didn't. It was just um, the first time I'd really yeah, just not try, try to control it so much. And, um, you know, I've, I think so much of acting, especially when you're auditioning and you're starting out, is about how much, what can you can control and, and um, how can I, you know, have some sort of safety in what I'm going to present the casting director or a director and, and, um, and then, you know, you just get more comfortable in your own skin and, and you kind of roll the dice more and, and, you know, you see what sort of sticks. And also you've got to trust a director to do that because I've improvised and done things before and given it to a director and then they choose the wrong, wrong take, you know, which is, yeah. can be Very frustrating. <laughs> yeah. But having someone like Taika, who is a comedic genius, you know, you, you have complete faith that he's going to find the best take and, and cut together the best version of that character. That's amazing. Um, Terry J0711 says, I would like to know how many times it took to shoot <laughs> the El Royale movie scene. And if other actors were able to keep a straight face while Chris was eating pie and dancing towards yeah. them. Um, no, they couldn't, actually. It was, because <laughs> that, and it was lucky they had the cameras pointed at me from here and everyone was lined up, tied to the chairs, and none of them had a straight face. And, um, and whatever smirk I had on my face was due to kind of looking at them laughing. And especially when I kind of, you know, grinded up against Jeff Bridges and kind of... <laughs> Nobody was ready for that. Nobody children. was ready for that. I'm not sure he was ready. He kind of was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, and CBM Review says, at the, re at the release of Thor 4, you have been playing the character for uh, 10 years, actually maybe longer. Uh, yeah, 11. Are there any Thor stories that he wants to do before he lets the character go? Meeting Beta Ray Bill, maybe? That was one of the first scripts, uh, the first comics I ever read. Um, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd love that. Uh, I just hope they, you know, keep letting me have another crack at it. You know, I have, have had so much fun with it and it doesn't feel at all, uh, it's, it doesn't feel old to me, you know. It feels more fresh now than it did, you know, the first couple of times I played it. And so to be sort of reinvigorated with, with the character and, and the world and, and feel like we have sort of no boundaries now, we can really sort of take it anywhere is, is a pretty ex exciting point to be in. L last couple questions. Um, Johnny Allen, 1976. Mo uh, again with the years. What is <laughs> most embarrassing thing that happened to you on set? In any movie? Um, I mean, the, the bad times they already are. That was, a, that was, that was pretty awkward because I was kind of screwing around with that dance and not really thinking it was, they're gonna make me do it. And especially not like 60 times, which we did. And, and it was funny the first few times for the cast and then they were just like, oh, it's just a, So by the end you really did wanna kill he people. Here comes, his old snake hips coming down the aisle, you know, so. <laughs> was, if you'd like to demonstrate. No, 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 you see the movie, please. <laughs> I tried, I tried. I tried, I'm it's, sorry. It's right, it's right. <laughs> It's a little salsa, kind of. <laughs> and my final question from Honey Child. Oh, of course, there you go. If they make another <laughs> Ghostbusters, can you and Leslie Jones get married? Sh sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Chris, I'd, lo I'd love to just play that character again. He's, he's uh, amazing. He's, he's so, so amazing. He's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I had, uh, for me personally, I had a couple more. I actually yeah. was wondering if you've been now in the MCU, you've been in the Star Trek universe. Yeah. Uh, MCU is kind of close to Star Wars. If you could be in Star Wars, oh, wow. or any, I mean, you know, there's so many things coming out. What, what would you like to be in the Mandalorian maybe? Would you like to be in the, yeah. another full on movie? Would you like to just be part of the Skywalker clan? Oh yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to. I'm not sure there's many people who'd say they wouldn't want to be a part of that world, you know? Um, and especially having it, you know, something that I've grown up with, like all of us here probably, um, you know, you'd, it'd, it'd be like a fan experience as opposed to being an actor. And that's the, you know, the fun thing at this point of, uh, I don't know, cinema and in my career, there are so many franchises and things still going now or being rehashed. And so it's, um, it's you know, it's like taking a trip down memory lane. And I remember, when I first started acting, um, or first really developed a, a love and a passion to want to do it, um, it was probably when I was watching Lord of the Rings, and it was, yeah, it, it was um, it was more about I wanted to live in that world and and you know be a hobbit or an elf or something and or <laughs> fight the, orcs and, and things. then and then sing and dance and at then the end. sing and dance do they sing and dance a oh, little, yeah, little bit a yeah. little bit minus the singing and dancing i've done i've done that i, I can um, see it just give you some pie give you some pie another cake. Sing and dance. <laughs> <laughs> no but just to you know to, to i don't know i didn't even i hadn't really grasped the concept of actually being an actor it's just about living out that fantasy and um for me that's just the joy of acting is I just feel like a big kid and you get to, you know, inhabit all these different worlds and, and, and mindsets and characters and so on. So it's, um, yeah, it doesn't feel like a job at all. Do, do you realize sometimes the impact that you've had? Like you were in the MCU for 10 years. So there's kids that were like maybe five that yeah. saw all of your movies that are growing up on your movies. Like you grew yeah, up it's, on- it's, it's, You've got to sort of stop and pinch yourself and think about it because it, um, it does, you know, you're in and out of it so much or you've, you know, the last 10 years and, and it just sort of became the norm and there was never any lack of gratitude. It was a, a constant, wow, look, we're employed, this is working. But it, around, around the end game, um, Presto, I think all of us, it hit all of us really what we're a part of and 
potentially what was finishing and it was a bit like sort of finishing high school and looking at all the friends you'd grown up with and and then also thinking wow this is the equivalent for what Star Wars was for for us you know we're now part of something like that for some young kid or you know a group of friends going off to the cinema and you know I remember you come out of those films and you talk about it non-stop and the characters and um, I don't know it, it, it yeah it um, it still sort of baffles me you know and, and I still ha I, you know, have moments where it hits me and I think, oh, wow, how did I ever land in amongst this world and, and, or that world and, and um, you know, have a career out of it. So. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Tell, leave your amazing fans here with uh, one word of advice yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, about well, I, acting I, well, I, or, I, or flying or <laughs> pretending to fly. No, I, I mean, I'd just say, you know, off the back of what I was talking about, it is, it is thanks to all of you guys, you know, to... To have that opportunity to um, to build those characters and, and that world, uh, you know, it, it, the opportunity did not exist without your support and the support from the beginning too, right up until now and, and hopefully onwards um, is, is a just a huge sense of gratitude and, and uh, thank you all for that. It's, it's just been absolute dream and uh, hopefully you continue to stick around and let us make a few more of them. Um, but you guys are the greatest, so thank you very much.